What's up guys? It's HTG Brian and I'm back with some more Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This is level 10, the Battle of the Jedi Free Play. We're going to pick off all six of those kyber bricks. We're going to get that true Jedi status. It's weird. It, it seems to be like a slow grind and then all of a sudden, bang, we're like way above and beyond. In fact, I think we double it by the time we get to the end. We're going to find all five mini kits and three challenges. Now, quick reminder, we do have quick links down below in the video description. So we'll go ahead and remind you of that. Now, we're going to show you, we actually completed one of the challenges in our story run. In fact, there's one called The Dark Side. Reach Dooku within five minutes. Now, we're going to skip that for the main video, but we're going to show you the quickest and easiest way at the end. So we're going to cover it all. We're going to cover the other two challenges and all five mini kits in the main video, and then we're going to replay the level and actually complete it in about 90 seconds. So that's pretty awesome. When you're ready to jump in, go ahead and choose the Battle of the Jedi free play, and let's let the fun begin. Now, as soon as we gain control of our characters, we're actually going to turn around and do a bunch of blasting and remove all of the boxes and collect all of the studs floating around. As, like I said in the beginning, there's kind of like a slow grind to get there. And then all of a sudden, it's like, bang, we're like way above and beyond. So I wasn't sure if I was going to get there with the 2x stud multiplier or not. So I went ahead and basically ground out as many studs as possible. Now, in this back corner, once we turn around, we're going to notice a net launcher spot up on the wall here. So we're going to switch to a scavenger character. It looks like Wicket is our pre-loaded guy here. We're going to choose the net launcher by pressing and holding circle. I guess it could be the old B button or perhaps, what is it, the A button? I think it's A. I need to get my switch controller out all the time. Yep, it is, in fact, A. Launch a net up there, climb up on it. You might need a different character to double jump and spin to win onto a platform. And right behind you is going to be mini kit number one. I found it to be a little bit of a funny angle landing on that platform. So you might have to kind of guide your character back to the left or over to the left. When you're ready to advance, go ahead and move over to this weird apparatus on the left side. Smash the box, grab the old fuse, eh? And slap it into place. It's going to kick off this some sort of a speeder bike here. It smashes right through the wall. Of course, you could stack all of those boxes up top and flip the switch up there, which also opens the door. Inside, they rush us with a bunch of baddies, so it's time to do some ready. We'll go ahead and cha 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 all these guys, and here in a minute, we're going to actually utilize the force to destroy one of the Geonesians. Geonosians? I know, everybody says it a little bit different, and I catch guff for no matter which way I say it, so I'll try to say it always, that, that way we all win. All right, uh, once you have depleted all their meters, you can go ahead and advance out the doorway, and we're going to go to the right to get a mini kit, but before doing that, we're actually going to use R2-D2 on an astromech panel to go ahead and open up a door, or it's more of a walkway on the left-hand side, which we're going to use to come back on here in a second. If you don't do this, you're going to probably have to restart the level and play it over again, because you're not going to be able to get back. So go ahead and choose R2-D2 and get your beep boop bop boop beep boop on. That's right. We're going to solve this puzzle from the inside out. Uh, from, from the inside out, Brian. <laughs> there we go. Got a little button happy there, shuffling around which uh, module I was controlling. Once it's done did, now uh, you could go ahead and advance and make your way to Dooku if you've got everything else. But I don't think that's why you're here. I think you're here to get the rest of the kits. So we're going to bail off to the far left side. Le left side of this screen, right side of how we came out of the door. A little confusing, I guess. And as we make our way around here, we're going to go ahead and take out some boxes, and switch over to a bounty hunter. Now, there's a couple of baddies on the bridge. I should note that you don't want to take those guys out yet because we're going to need to use the foals to take one of them out as that's part of one of the challenges coming up here right after we collect this mini kit, which is just behind some gold. And thanks to our bounty hunter, we can remove that and collect it. All right, so next up, we got a few more studs we're collecting, and then we're going to come to the bridge here and switch to a Jedi character, or somebody with the Force. It doesn't have to be a Jedi. As you can see, I picked up Vader. And basically, we just want to hit the circle button, B button, A button, depending on which platform you're playing on, and yeet one of them. Control them. Grab them with the Force and throw them and make sure you depleted their meter. 
Now, to keep on with this challenge, you can see here, we're working on forcing them out up in the left-hand corner there. We're going to use a Jedi character, somebody holding a saber, to get up top onto these handhelds and make our way all the way around. Once we get over there, we're actually going to find ourselves a battle droid, which we can then use the Vols on, and that should complete our challenge. If you tossed one of those Geonesians, you should be able to toss one of these droids, and it should be good to go. You should be uh, finding them at the end of the pathway here, and they should continuously spawn. So if your AI takes them out or maybe you accidentally shoot them, they should continuously be made on this. Uh, well, you can see it's a droid factory there. And you can see I picked them up and yeeted them, and we got that challenge co -co completed. That's right. Yeet for the complete. And all right, basically what we want to do now is wait for another droid to get manufactured, and then we're going to hop on to the handheld that he left behind, and we're going to hip it to the hoppa all the way to the left. Uh, not to the top. Well, that's, that's weird. We don't want to go over there. Now, if you're ready to be done with the level, you can go to the right here, and that's going to actually take you to Dooku. But because we used our astromech panel at the beginning here, we have this nice walkway we can get back across over to where we started. However, watch that last step. It's a doze. <laughs> yeah, I did not do that intentionally. That was an accident. But, uh, all right, we got a couple more mini kits, and, uh, well, actually, we got one more mini kit and another challenge coming up in this hallway here. So take out the baddies on the bridge, and then make your way up into the dark stairwell straight ahead. And eventually, we're going to come to a wall that needs a breaker blaster, and we're going to go ahead and switch to a scavenger and take that out. And then we've also got some boxes at the end we can smash and build into an electric trap. That's right, a bug zapper, if you will. And all right, so we're almost to that spot here on the right. You can see it's telling us to toggle over to a scavenger-based character so we can pull out that special item. In this case, it is the Breaker Blaster, so press and hold circle. That's for us anyways. And then it should allow you to use it, blast the wall down, and collect that mini kit. woo to the hoo All right, it's dark in here, so we're going to switch back over to somebody who, ha <laughs> who isn't afraid of the dark, the dark side, that is. In fact, we got Vader, so we're going to make our way up. A lot of baddies show up, and I'm going to sort of skip over them and go all the way to the top. And you can see here, all of a sudden, we got a bunch of studs, and we've got our true Jedi status, which is noise. And up here at the very top back left corner, we're going to find these boxes. We're going to smash them and build them. Now, it's important you build the left trap, the left light trap. If you go to the right, you're probably going to have to play this level over again. So make sure you build the left trap build of that multi-build and it should give you the light trap they should all go into it and zap and booyah ka -show. now we're going to drop down into dooku's fighting grounds here and there was a cutscene. we did remove that because this is free play we got to go ahead and give him the old business cha 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 and depleted that meter but there is a mini kit on the floor now a quick tip for you guys if you are using a character with the saber, your focus is going to be on the battle the whole time. The game just sort of makes you focus on the lightsaber battle. Now, if you switch to a character with a blaster, you can see that that's not the case. You can actually move around freely, and you're not sort of attached or uh, focused in on the bad guy. So I switched to another character, shot the wall that had a hidden mini kit in it, and I collected it. Now we're going to go ahead and switch back to our saber-wielding character. In this case, it's Veda. And we're going to depleter that meter of Dooku, and once we get that first one done did, he's going to hop up onto a ledge. We're going to use the force to sort of maneuver or pull some piping and reveal a spot we can use our saber to climb the wall. Once we get up there, we're going to do one of those rapid button pressing moments and, uh, and then drop back down. Once we do that, it's almost the perfect angle on where the final mini kit is. We're going to actually have to use a terminal. And once we do, we get this big vehicle, and we're supposed to shoot a bunch of these baddies. But we actually just get off the vehicle and find them and, and uh, you know, give them the little saber in, and it takes care of it for us. So uh, I've got ahead of myself in explaining things, but look at this. We're officially to the part where we got to use the fools, rip off the pipes, and then use our saber to climb the old wall here. I don't know what they call these. Is there a name for this? If there is, drop a comment down below, please, and let me know, because I'd like to have the proper term here. But uh, saber climbing seems to work just as good. And up top, we got spam, 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 spam. Eventually, he jumps out of the way and throws us down. And once he does that, it should put the camera basically right on where we want. Oh, there it is right there in front of us. See that red soikle? 
That's right, we got ourselves the logo, and of course, I've got a saber out, so my character is going to focus on Dooku as soon as he returns. I get up close to the terminal, and all of a sudden, he reveals himself. And of course, now I've got my focus back on him. We got to spam away, get a bunch of studage. Thank you very much. We'll take those. But as soon as we get access to change characters, I'm going to do that. And unfortunately, my other character, I'm pretty sure, has a saber out too. Oh, yeah, we got to reflect the uh, old electricity back first. Now we should have access to do what we want. But look, both characters got sabers. So switch to a character who doesn't have one. It'll make things easier to get over to it. Now I'm still getting attacked. You likely will too. We're going to need a character that can access the old terminal here, which happens to be a villain. That's right. We need a villain. Then we're going to approach the panel, hit the icon indicated, and simply repeat the process here. For us, it is left up, down up, and booyah ka shall We get some bricks. We can build up into a giant. It's some sort of like, well, I guess it's not a giant. It's a micro fighter, but it's like a cannon of sorts. I don't know if it's the actual one we unlock at the end of this level or not, but you can see here it has presented four baddies. Now, you might get a little confused as there might be some baddies out during some of the in-between points of fighting him, but just focus on taking out all of the baddies as soon as you spawn that ship because that's all that should be out on screen at the time. If you have more, make sure you just take them all down, and that should get it. Each one you take out does give you the progress marker there. We got one of one, two, or sorry, one of four, two of four, three of four, four of four. Once you get them all, you should collect the old mini kit on the floor. <laughs> and that is it. So as far as collectibles go, we are good to go on this full run. And for us, because we got the challenge for finding Dooku in five minutes or less in our story run, we are c -c -c complete. However, there is a quick link down below in the video description that should take you to challenge number three. Basically, you just want to quit the level or I guess reload the level because we're assuming that you've already got to the final totals and everything. Reload the level and then um, just follow along. You, you want to get that fuse, open the door or smash the door open. Use the astromech panel on the left, and then, of course, just make your way into the door. In fact, there's sort of a little cheat, too, we show you. And we put the timer up, too, because it is a time-based challenge. But I am way ahead of myself. But I'm just assuming that you guys that are here for collectibles have probably already moved on because there's quite a bit of a battle left. And, you know, I know that we've talked in the previous videos or three that we uh, have talked about, you know, saving and quitting because you can do that. And it actually takes you right to the final total and any collectibles you have gathered in your run should be shown in the final totals. But for us, we've always taken those votes and there's sort of like a 50-50 split. About half of you want us to go ahead and finish the level while the other half are hoping that we save an exit. But again, we just figured that for those who do want to save an exit, you are welcome to do so. And you could use the quick links for the next collectible in this video or even the playlist to go ahead and get to the next video if you're in a hurry or ready to move on. So uh, you can see here Yoda has showed up and we're going to go ahead and give old Dooku the old biz here. Cha, 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 cha. And eventually we're going to go ahead and chase him up onto this thing and we're going to follow him up on the wall. But we got to use the force to rip open these pops first. And for whatever reason, it's always the opposite of what you think it is. So, like, I thought it was going to be rip it away to the right, but it turns out it was the left. Then you think it's going to be up, but it turns out it's down. Or, or it's down and it's supposed to be up. It's always backwards from what I think it is. Maybe, maybe it's the same for you. Maybe, maybe not. All right, use the saber to get all the way up to the top. And then we're going to give him the old close and personal rapid pressing again. That's right. Spam, 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 spam. And he knocks our block off, and we sort of <laughs> float there for a second. Eventually, we plummet to our doom. And this should be the last sequence here where he's hiding. We're going to walk over towards that. Uh, looks like he's got some stars above his head, but it turns out that's not him. He's actually over further to the left. Yep. Surprise, guys. <laughs> I hate how he does that. Go ahead and rapidly press the button again. You should have a couple more sequences of giving him the biz, and then it should take us to the final totals. Almost, anyways. Yeah, we got to deflect that electricity one more time. Zip. Shocking. I know. <laughs> and, of course, uh, sneak up behind him. We got that final meter to depleter, but it goes really fast, especially since we're getting pretty good at these saber battles. At least I feel like we are. Still not using the force very much, and I'm actively spamming <laughs> the same button over and over, but it works. So leave me alone. 
All right, all cut scenes have been removed. And, of course, we've got uh, the final sequence here that's going to drop us on to Hoth, which uh, might be different than where you are. This just happens to be where we picked up our data card for the free play preparations. And then we never left. We just liked it so much. No, in fact, we, we got ourselves a nice coat. And some uh, hand warmers, and we're just going to hang out for a bit. All right, let's check out the final totals. Again, we did get a challenge in our story run, so all of them are going to be completed here. We got enough studs and then some. In fact, we doubled the requirement, which is really odd because, like I said at the beginning, we weren't sure we were going to get there. And then all of a sudden, we just had way more than we needed. That hallway up top was pretty awesome. Where that bug zapper was, we got poop poop paid All right, we got the dark side, bug zapper, and forcing them out. And, of course, if you missed the timed challenge, the dark side, don't worry. It's still coming up in the video. It's at the very, very, very end. I thought about mixing them up and, like, just restarting it, then showing the totals. But I don't know. I just went this route because I figured you guys probably already got the time challenge in your story as well. Because it was pretty easy, especially if you followed along with our story and you just ran to the end. It's pretty quick. All right, so we're standing here like a noob for way longer than we needed to. But we're going to go ahead and pull up our stuffs here. Ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. Challenge number three, the dark side. So if you did miss this in your story, it is basically impossible to get all the mini kits and this timed challenge in one go. So we're going to go ahead and get it in our second go. Choose the same level. And look at that. We've actively got our timer a rolling. As soon as the cutscene comes to an end, we get our access to our characters. And I would even consider this, uh, the timer might not actually start until we can control, which would be about now. So that might even be 15 seconds or so uh, ahead of things. But we're just running. It's a speed run, guys. So we're going to go over to the corner, smash this box, pick up the old fuse, eh? Slam it into place. It's going to activate this little speeder bike here, which is going to crash into the wall, giving us access out of this room. Also bringing in a bunch of baddies. We're going to run right on by them. We're going to switch to R2-D2. Now, BB-8 and some other astromechs would work as well. So whatever's available in your panel here, toggle over using the right and left on your analog or psych on your directional pad, not the analog stick. Make your way all the way over here and solve this puzzle from the inside out. Now, there's a little trick here. It actually sort of hangs on this cinematic sequence here. Watch it. it uh, once you solve it, it pulls back the camera and sort of swoops around, and then it stays here forever. But you know what's crazy? You can actually control R2 right now. You should be able to. Look at me. Look at him go. Look at him go. I'm out of here. We just need to get all the way across that and bust a Louie. That's right, a left into this hallway, which will require some saberage. So you're going to want to toggle over to a character that can carve through the wall here. And once you get your carve on, it should drop the wall. And on the other side, guess who's waiting for us? Dooku! So look at that, a minute and 30 seconds. That's pretty swiftly. And, of course, we walk in, the cutscene ensues, and we are out of there. So, hey, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the Battle of the Jedi Free Play, which happens to be level 10 in our playlist, but also episode 2, level 5, if you're tracking that way. Don't forget to check us out on HappyThumbsGaming.com and social media. Boy, that was a tongue twister there. As for me, that is going to do it. As always, until next time. Slip.